Omer here, and what I'd like to do is just spend with a few minutes here with you, just talking about some uh, uh, table saw jigs here that I've made for my table saw, and uh, just to make your work a little more pleasant, a little bit easier to do, uh, a little more consistency, and a little more accuracy in, in your work. And uh, jigs are a lot of fun to make, they don't have to be expensive. Any of the jigs I'm going to show you here today are all made from scraps that have come off the end of the table saw. So basically they would have been in the junk pile, so uh, why not make something useful out of them. Now the first thing that I'd like to show you is this uh, taper jig here that I've made for my table saw. And how that works, I've made it so it just fits right over top of my fencing system. And uh, if you have a fencing system of this nature, uh, uh, I mean, this may be the, the way that you want to go. It, it, it stays nice and snug on there and it's dead after. That's, that's what I really like. And jig should provide you with that type of service. Nice, accurate, and easy to use. Now this one here is all made out of three quarter inch plywood. As you can see, I've made uh, a, house, uh, a bracket here so it fits nicely over top of the, uh, the uh, fencing system. This, uh, the actual taper of it itself can be adjusted anywhere from 15 to 20 degrees in that, in that area. So this will give you lots of taper that I'm quite sure will take care of most of the things that you would like to do. Uh, I've put a push handle on it to, uh, to make it easy to use and uh, we'll just show you how this works. It, 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 it is, uh, it's all glued together and screwed together so it, it's, it stays nice and stable. Uh, get yourself a nice solid hinge on the end as well as we have a stop block here that your material rolls up against. Now, I'll just adjust that and uh, that will just slide back and forth on the, uh, on the fence system. Now, say in the event that you want to uh, taper a, a leg. Okay, set your adjustment as to how you would like to have it. Bring it up to your, uh, your saw. Maybe an eighth of an 
inch off the end of it. And they're trying to do that on the saw. Boy, this can be dangerous. Whereas with a unit like this here that's very safe, you can either clap it in here, or if it's long enough, just hold your fingers up against it like that. It'll, it'll force it up against the back fence and make it very secure. Now also in the back, for safety reasons, I've added this little open uh, box here to prevent the saw blade from coming all the way through. By the time your saw is through cutting what you want to cut, it will not be protruding through through here. You could, I guess, if you keep forcing it through, but uh, with a little precaution on that, that'll work for you very well. But there again is for a safety feature to keep your thumbs away from your blade, this type of thing when it comes through. Now another jig that I have here is also made from scrap materials. All three, three quarter inch plywood. This one too is I believe about 17 inches square. We have the hardwood runners here that fit in the uh, table grooves. And this is made for mitering, say such things as picture frames or of that nature. And uh, this works very well too. Now all you do is you make sure that you get a perfect 90 degree angle here on this uh, fencing system here that your material will rest against when you slide it through the saw. And uh, the importance of that is to get dead accurate miter when you when you finish the, uh, the cut. Now, uh, what I've done here, you can either take your uh, material and run it in on the front side, clamping it back here. You can either run it through like that, or say in the event that you want to stand something up and miter it in, you can clamp it on the back side here, run it through, and you'll get a perfect 45 on there too. Uh, it works very well for accuracy and speed. You, you can cut a lot of pieces accurately on this here in a very short period of time. Uh, works very well. Now another little jig here that I've made up, once again, it too fits right here on top of our fencing system. That too was made from scrap. So as you can see, most jigs can be built from scrap because they don't require a whole bunch of material to build. And uh, you know, they're, they're generally simple to make, a lot of fun to make, and uh, very useful once they are made. So this one here, once again, just made a, uh, an area here that would fit over top of the fencing system here, all three quarter inch plywood. We've uh, reinforced it here with screws and glues, put a reinforcement on the back side of this main uh, uh, surface here to keep that nice and stable so it doesn't have a tendency to uh, uh, wander off, this type of thing. Okay, now, <clears throat> what we did here now, this is our fencing system right in here that, that you would, uh, say, take your, your picture frame and, and set it into this unit. Most of your picture frames in that are, say, three-quarter inch material. So this is what I've used with three-quarter inch material in here. And basically what it does, this cuts a spline through the, through the corner of your picture frame and that. And uh, when, when you uh, uh, fit a spline into there, glue it in nice and tight and that, that really reinforces that corner. It get, it's really gets strong. Uh, and this, that's what this jig is for. When you put it over top the fence, just set it so that set it so it runs right down the center of that there. Putting your uh, your dig into here, you can run it right through and cut your 45 on the uh, for your spot. There will be your spline that will, will go into here. And you just say in the event that you are uh, uh, maybe doing a, a maple picture frame and uh, you want to make it a little bit decorative here on the corners and that, you might want to use, say, a walnut, walnut or something, a darker wood to make that spline out of. It looks very attractive and uh, makes it very firm, very solid. Okay, that concludes our uh, shop jigs at this time. Thank you.